Hello everybody and welcome to a new vlog. I'm so happy guys because of several reasons. I'll start with the first one. Happy to be back on my good old trusty camera. You know, you just don't change the winning team. This is it. The mic is back, the camera is back. I think this is the best quality, so we won't be changing anymore. And the second and probably the more important reason why I'm so happy is because we've just arrived, as you could have seen in the intro, in Portofino at one of the most beautiful hotels in the world. This is Belmont Splendor Hotel and well, we had a bit of a bumpy beginning of the day so we haven't actually eaten and we sat straight for lunch but let me show you our view. Okay guys, I'm sure some of you remember this view. It is iconic and I personally love it very much. This is where we're having our lunch and I'm gonna try and show you everything that I haven't shown you last time. But first things first, we're gonna eat lunch. I'm gonna get a little bit more presentable. I'm gonna change. My travel outfit actually is quite cute so I'll show it to you in a second but until then I really need to eat first. Let's start this beautiful afternoon with some caprese salad. Focaccia is insane, but it's very typical for this region. And I've also ordered the parmigiana. I just want to give you a little warning that you should get ready because you will see this view a lot. But in case you think, since we've actually been here last year, I can already see that there's a lot of new things, including the new pool area, which is something that they've been working on during the winter months. So I'll show you all the novelty while we're here. What you probably could have seen already is that I'm I'm wearing my navy Birkin cargo and Filippo's got his little Goyar pouch. He loves this pouch really and for me this bag is, as you guys know, one of my favorite Hermes bags which is a bold statement but today I'm in a navy mood. Okay guys, a quick, like I promised you, outfit on the day. I actually um, traveled in this for like three hours from Milan, but I love this dress from the row. It has this beautiful back with a little, this draping, gorgeous detailing. I have my cargo Birkin, which you've seen already, Chanel sunglasses and the hat, and the Oran sandals, these canvas ones. Yeah, that is it basically. We're now debating whether we should go to the pool or to have a nap, because the truth is our journey was quite intense, but I'll tell you all about it later. And this property is so beautiful. I'm always, always so impressed by its beauty. Look at this, chilling here, sitting. The inside hotel area is beautiful. Also, as you can see, beautiful colors, pastels, all the famous people who stayed here. And now we're gonna go and check out the room. Guys, we just got in the room and it's insane. Honestly, I have to give you a proper tour. So first of all, we got some incredible welcome situation, as you can see. I really love to get fruits, as you guys know. Just so that you know, this is a junior suite type of room. And this is where we entered. This is the gorgeous bathroom. They have all the Aqua de Parma products and amenities in the bathroom. My look, you have seen already. And then shower looks so inviting. Then over here, lovely spacious bed. bed is very important to Filippo. He always needs to have like a bigger than the double bed. He requires the space. This balcony. So we've had balcony also last year, but I think this one is just because it's a higher floor than what we had last year. And it feels a little bit more isolated because we're in the corner. It's just a little bit extra special. Beautiful flowers in a Ginori vase. Like I've noticed actually they have also these little Ginori cups that I think are so beautiful. Then guys, look at this. And I'm not talking about Filippo talking about the Kuhne balcony. I do love this one though even better just because the view is like extra but also here and from here you can see the pool which now looks different because it's all orange and blue and I think are we gonna have a little rest or are we gonna go to the pool? Whatever you want. You can go to the pool and rest there. And the sound of crickets. Yeah. I love the sound of crickets, it's so relaxing. Ah, oh, I'm so happy here, you guys. This is my happy place. This was such a good idea, right? Yeah, this was such a best. good idea. Well, I just wanted to hear some well done, Tamara. That's all it is because well done, baby, well. I mean, you know what I mean? Now I'm going to lock him there on the balcony because he didn't say well done. It took him more than five seconds. So now I locked him. Bye bye. Guys, very, very quick outfit change because we're heading to the pool. I got Oran sandals that are in the same color of this Gucci silk shirt. I think many of you remember when I got it. Matching Gucci bikini, I'll link it all below. And these are like at least five years old denim shorts that I have. Chanel, same glasses. 
pieces and that's it. We're gonna chill at the pool a little bit. I love this shirt. I love the color. This is like a little bit cooler toned Gucci print. I don't know if you can see, but I quite like it. I feel like it also matches quite well my hair color. Guys, I don't know if you can see me, considering that it's quite like sunny. The sun is coming quite from here, but I try to blur the background as much as possible so I don't disturb other people. Now, I had a three hour nap, and the reason why I resorted to such measures is because I didn't even tell you, but this morning, so yesterday we were in Belgrade. It was amazing. I had lunch with my dad, Filippo, and my best friend. We were chilling by the river, and unfortunately, we couldn't get a flight straight from Belgrade to Milan. So we had to fly via Frankfurt, right? And first of all, the flight from Belgrade to Frankfurt landed so badly that when the plane landed, it went like this and then this and then this. And then you could feel like it was going to go on the plane tail and that the plane is going to go over like because it couldn't stabilize. So then the plane, as it kept going like this, he had to take off again. So as we landed, we took off again, which was very unusual. And personally for me, because the pilot hasn't actually informed us of anything it was quite uncomfortable but Filippo was very calm so that was quite calming for me so then we were like circling more we eventually finally landed we arrived in Frankfurt and the weather was like nothing I've ever seen in my life there was so much lighting the rain the rain was like flooding the runway you guys it was awful so eventually they told us after waiting for hours and hours and hours that the flight is cancelled and we have to take another flight tomorrow morning which is today but we already had planned to go to Portofino and yeah this morning we had to wake up at like six we got to the airport at seven then you know like we slept at the airport hotel it wasn't like the cutest but that's all right for me personally I know that my lifestyle is all about luxury but when it's not luxury or when it's a little bit different it's still fine with me I know it's surprising but it's true and eventually we we made this to Milan where I had to repack and then we left to Portofino but I was just very like I didn't sleep much last night I woke up very early this morning so now that we arrived to the pool I slept for like two hours and I woke up I felt like my blood pressure was very low so I woke up and I had a coffee which feels really 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 good I said to Filippo are you gonna be embarrassed if I order like milky coffee because it's afternoon and he said no baby you do whatever you want I will never be embarrassed so that's great because in Italian culture it's like a sin to order a cappuccino or a latte macchiato like which is a long milky coffee after lunch and yeah that's basically that I had a little nap I enjoyed and now I'm just like chilling the sun is setting we're gonna have a shower and get ready for dinner which we're having here tonight because we want to take as little effort as possible today tomorrow is going to be a different day though also one thing that isn't quite usual for me I love to swim but today I didn't even go once in water and people keep swimming and calling me to come join him look at him hi baby how are you remember when we were in Capri that Filippo fell on the wakeboard and huh? he hurt his rib. I'm telling them about your rib. It's still hurting him, but he wants to check it out today at an x-ray and it's all fine. It's just that he's a man, so the pain threshold is a little bit lower. But yeah, I was getting worried because he's complaining about it a lot. But it turns out it's all good. It's important to sometimes check things out just so that you can have the peace of mind, you know? Peace of mind, the most important thing. The most yeah, important thing. Now that I know nothing, I feel better. Same, 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 same. But yeah, but I think the I best idea I was to come here. 7 p.m. We're about to leave, but... I'm on my phone, Filippo's already took the bag because we're leaving the pool area. But guys, I just wanted to show you this. So serene, so beautiful, peaceful. This was like such a good moment to just like, you know, charge up my batteries before the fashion madness begins. And by that, of course, I'm talking about the fashion month, which is just around the corner. Guys, wanted to show you my outfit of the night. We changed, I'm wearing this denim Alaya dress. I don't know if you can see that it's a denim dress. It's like quite body hugging. Not sure that was the smartest move considering that I took two flights in the last 24 hours and a car journey. And I slept like very little time in Frankfurt last night. I feel a bit like, even like my feet are not the right size, but it's okay because I'm embellished them with the most beautiful shoes. These Magda Butram mules. Look at these beautiful mules with the pearl in the front and then gorgeous, gorgeous rose detail at the back. I also got my black mini Kelly. This is the oldest Hermes bag that I have and I really love it. Kind of like, yeah, we'll discuss that in another video. And yeah, we're heading to dinner at the grill because they've just renovated it. So we're very excited to see it. Let's go.
guys. So here we got some orata, which is a white fish and salad for dinner. Some vegetables as well. Filippo had his virgin mojito, I believe, because I don't know if you guys know this, but Filippo never drank any alcohol in his life. He doesn't drink at all. I'm having a glass of wine for the whole night. We're gonna eat and we're gonna go straight to the room to have an early night because it's a, yeah, but it's such a pity because it's one of the most beautiful places on earth, I believe. Honestly, I strongly recommend you guys come here. The view is spectacular. Also right behind me all over, you can't really see, but it's really, Really, really beautiful the food is great the service we've been having a great time here can you believe we woke up in frankfurt no i can't then we flew to milan then we drove to portofino it's like crazy guys that was our first day in portofino we did nothing that's going to be the schedule for the rest of the stay at belmont splendido which is just perfection we are actually planning for the next trip which is going to be tokyo in exactly well maybe in three days time basically in two whole days before we're heading to tokyo do you understand yep kind of crazy and i've been looking forward to this trip since last year so can you imagine it's been more than a year since i've heard that i'll be going this year well i think so i don't know i'm, I'm bad with like but something like that but anyway i can't reveal what it is that we're going for just yet but obviously i will vlog the whole experience so it'll be pretty major i would love if you guys could let me know what is it that you would like to see me vlog in tokyo maybe some vintage shopping maybe some exploring if there's something that i should do if there's something that you'd like to see let me know so yeah that's today in portofino tomorrow the schedule is going to be pretty much the same chilling by the pool enjoying chilling with filippo and me you guys and we're gonna go down to the city as well a little bit so we'll bring you with us but now it's time to go and sleep night night good morning guys so excited for the breakfast is anybody else also like super excited for hotel breakfast i'm always very excited for them so i got dressed this morning i am wearing a chanel one piece swimming suit i don't know if i've actually properly worn it in maldives i think so and the chanel palazzo pants with orange sandals but we're coming to the very end of holidays this morning i woke up i did extra like little head massage to stimulate my hair growth i gave myself super skin skincare moment and I wanted to show you like some products for my Serbian and Balkan audience who follow me. I wanted to show you what I bought in Serbia when it comes to skincare. There is actually a little bit more than what I brought with me on this trip, but maybe I'll have to show that to you in the other video. And I'm sorry for the rest of you guys, but in case you go to Balkans, I believe you'll be able to find these products also in Croatia, etc. I really, really think these products are so good. And the best of all is like, first of all, I got this product here. This is the Pantanal foam. Pantanal is the brand name and it contains like vitamin E, allantoin, aloe vera and it's so good for your skin like for me personally like I used this since I was a child my mom like in a cream form but now that they have the foam I really really love it like and it then goes into cream and it's so refreshing after some bathing i love it so much also it smells like soft but what i really love about it is that what it says it does is it balances the content of hydration in the skin especially after sun wind cold water whatever it like refreshes regenerates your skin and it keeps it hydrated and like sort of like looked after it's also good for sensitive skin i really like it but then one other thing it's not here because i used it last night is this thing over here it's very sort of like medicinal and it's like a balsam for regenerating and revitalizing of your skin when i was a kid i used this when i would like burn myself or if i would burn in the sun or something like that i did not burn it was really important for me that this summer i tan responsibly and well but this is very like sort of like natural and my physiotherapist actually recommends this she massages me with this and she loves it so much so i ended up getting some as well it really hydrates and now filippo wants to go and get coffee are you ready phil yeah let's go anyway the point is i really love those two products i think they're great for skin i think in serbia we have like really really good products when it comes to skincare when it comes to a lot of the things i could have even done like a huge pharmacy haul i got more and i will show you the rest when we go back to milan guys it is 
breaking hot. Can I have the, the hat, please? Your hat? Yeah. Let's see what hat did you pack. Filippo packed the Louis Vuitton monogram that he had. Actually, I saw in the shop they still have this hat, you know, the other day when we went to get a gift. So this hat that I'm wearing, however, I haven't actually worn it for quite a while. I got it, I think I got it like last year, before we went to Maldives last year. So something like that. And I, I really like it. Kind of Venetian hat, but I haven't worn it much this year. I'm wearing also the Celine glasses. You guys always ask me about these Celine glasses and I'll link them below. I really like them. They're just perfect. They go with everything. They're for me perfect when I'm by the pool because they're very protecting and like the hat. It's not like too wide of a brim, but wide enough to protect me from sun. I'm gonna take off these silk pants that I got right now. I mean, I love them and they're actually quite light, but it's really hot today. Look at this. The buttons are really cute. Today we're on the floor above the pool. So we have this most beautiful view all for ourselves. Guys, we decided to come to the room because we just i don't want to say had enough of the sun but the truth is we have such a beautiful room it's such a beautiful view okay excuse the mess there we go it's such a beautiful view that filippo ordered me a lovely tiramisu and we're watching amber heard johnny depp trial so this is life right now guys you've probably already seen this frame in the previous vlog because i just finished the vlog i wanted to say thank you in the end of the previous vlog and i said it dress like this while doing some skincare and honestly i've never been more thankful to you guys than now because i really feel like i have the best audience that one could possibly have it's incredible you guys are incredible and you mean so much to me i i feel like i need to look at the camera when i say this because it's the absolute truth now as you have noticed we're not spending the whole day at the beach and the reason for that is that Filippo and i were feeling really tired you think like oh you're chilling by the beach that's relaxing yes it is but you know what's more relaxing enjoying in a beautiful gorgeous room in your hotel watching netflix not being in the sun being in the ac in bed ordering coffee and tiramisu that is relaxing i just put a face mask on i put some castor oil on my eyebrows and my eyelashes i'm gonna put some laneige on my lips because i love this product it's so good and i am going to enjoy the rest of the afternoon let me tell you now it's 5 15 it was actually on a call at the moment like for 20 minutes it's not gonna be too long but i think around six so in 45 minutes i need to start getting ready because we're gonna go and have a peritivo in town i think they told me like mm, i don't even feel like going to town maybe we should skip and then we're gonna come back up for dinner maybe even a room service which i wouldn't mind at all we're really taking it that easy and then ladies and gentlemen probably pack because we're already leaving tomorrow but i think i'll wrap this vlog when we arrive in milan not before if that makes any sense anyway we're watching on netflix amber heard and johnny Depp trial i think you guys saw that when tiramisu came so yep that's that guys what a beautiful beautiful sunset over here we're going downstairs for a little aperitivo i actually shot a little look for a project but i don't think i can show you just yet at least i look a little bit more presentable right now than early on however if you follow me on instagram you will know exactly what i am talking about also you will be able to see more details of my looks on tiktok and on shorts We're trying to upload them all regularly for you guys and now let's go for a little aperitivo in this beautiful beautiful place okay guys your girl is ready for the aperitivo ignore the mic but i'm wearing magda butram brown dress that i have worn before i believe in dubai once on an occasion and honestly a few things i want to share with you one thing is that no matter how many days i really think this room guys if you come to belmont splendid doll this room has has the most incredible view i love it so much it's 471 i believe and it's just insane okay now i'm gonna shut up about it because i feel like this whole vlog i'm just telling you how beautiful is the view the dress as you guys have probably noticed or not i don't know i might shop a lot but i also have a lot of occasions and i tend to repeat my outfits quite a bit because i do think that outfits are to be repeated and that you should wear same things that you like over and over again especially if you pay a lot of money for them i don't think you should wear one thing all the time but what i think is very important to mention is that like i said my lifestyle is such that we do have a lot of events now tonight i'm feeling especially in love where's the love of my life baby are you ready to go okay me too i just want to say that tonight i'm feeling especially in love Why? <laughs> i don't know i just maybe feel because like i love you i just feel like because maybe because i love you 
Mm. That's why. Yes, Hagrid. I think it's because, yes, because you've been especially very, very loving and kind. Anyway, the point is that it's been two and a half months since we've been engaged. And for me personally, the feeling is just so beautiful. And I don't know, like, I just feel very, very, very loved and loving and in such a beautiful place. End of summer, a bit of melancholic feelings, nostalgia, all of that good stuff. But yeah, I want you to tell me one thing that you like the most on this holiday. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. The thing I like the most in Portofino is you, because when you are here, you are the happiest. <laughs> to be honest, there are a few places on earth that I'm very happy at. Also in Ravello, I love it in Ravello. Today, I also feel like, you know, it's the last summer day for us. We have a business trip very soon coming up. You know, that's it. All the fun is kind of going to be over until November, I would think. Maybe even October, but October is already looking very busy for me. So probably November, we might do a little, I don't want to say vacation, but a little kind of break. And then December, post-Christmas, that's when we're going to rest properly next. So now let's go for aperitivo. And then later on, I'm going to remove makeup. I'm going to pack the stuff. We're going to get into our comfy clothes. And if we're going to eat dinner, because we're not hungry yet, but if we do end up eating dinner, we're gonna eat a room service on this gorgeous balcony. That's the best plan ever. Good morning, you guys. We are already back in Milan. Well, actually, we're just entering Milan back from Portofino. I didn't want to vlog this morning because you've already seen us at breakfast during the previous days. We actually are back in Milan for like a little bit more than 24 hours, but we realize our fridge is completely empty. So what are we going to do, Filippo? So we're going to go to our favorite uh, spaghetti, no? In yeah. Milan. And that's it. We have a quick lunch yeah. and then uh, we go home, we load the car, exactly. we unpack, we repack because tomorrow we go. So normal people, which we are sometimes, sometimes not, would go to the supermarket to get some food, but there's no point actually getting food because we're leaving tomorrow and we're not gonna be back for a while. So what we're gonna do instead is just we're gonna go for lunch. For dinner we have something, I'm gonna make pizza. It's a carb day, it's a carb holidays. And yeah, that's the kind of little plan. I don't know why I look like this. I'm wearing no makeup, as you guys can see. I've done my hair but I'm wearing like quite a cute Chanel dress outfit we'll insert the picture so you guys can see it so lunchtime then going back home to run some errands to repack unpack do all those kind of you know things and actually to enjoy being at home and put together a little bit I know I've told you this already in my previous video but everything is closed in Milan everything like there's nothing open the summer is full on and it's so quiet we didn't even have any traffic coming back in which is quite nice we chose to come back on saturday though because from tomorrow probably people will start coming back for holidays but it's really peaceful and quiet and it's so unusual for me to see a city like this because growing up there was no such thing as like a week or two when the city gets quiet it's incredible Guys, good morning. Filippo just told me, literally the moment that I put the camera on, he said, today your hair looks like... First he said that I look like Stefan. Which is true. And then he said that hey, today's the day that I should wear a hat. And in the three years... Not a hat, a cap. A cap. And in three years that we've been dating, he's never said such thing to me. Is it true? Yeah. But in his defense, guys, I have about a ton of castor oil in my hair. Can you see it? To the point where everything is pretty much oiled up. And also in my eyebrows, I have a ton of castor oil. I put it last night and I was going to wash my hair last night. And then I was like, mm, I should leave it in to sink a little bit more. But then I decided that I put so much castor oil in it. It will be such a mission to wash it all up. Out, that I'm actually going to hairdresser. What time is my appointment, baby? At 12. So we have like an hour before my appointment. We're back home. I unpacked yesterday. Guys, 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 I have to tell you this. Hold on. Yesterday I got home. I face masked. Then I put like a ton of like scalp serum, ton of castor oil. Then treatment for the ends. I put like kind of thick oily cream all over my body. The Pantanal ointment, it was so good. I then did like my full skincare routine. I showered and all. And then I basically did again more like, because if you have like an ointment in your skin and then you shower it off and then you moisturize again, I feel like you lock the hydration in especially. And after all the summer and some bathing, I wanted to do that. So I just felt so good. I also cleaned my ring this morning. Ta -da! 
So Good. after all the creams and oiling and all of that stuff, I woke up this morning, my sister oh, sent me pictures of the dog. Hey. I can't wait to be reunited with a dog, my sister's dog. But anyway, that's another topic. You know what I don't know if I ever showed baby on my vlog? I don't know if I've ever shown my cover. Shall I show I it? I don't think so. I don't know if I've ever shown you this, you guys. This is something very, very exciting for me. First of all, it's my first ever Marie Claire cover. So I've never done a Marie Claire before. This is the first one. And here on the cover, I'm wearing a Valentina suit. But then inside, you can find a full editorial with me in different looks from different brands, my favorite designers, and an interview. So this is the interview. The title of the interview says, I never want to lose like groundedness. And then here inside, I know that many of you will not be able to actually buy this because you live abroad, like majority of you. However, one thing that I can say is that if you head to the blog, I will leave a link below to the specific blog. I put pictures of the full editorial and also the link to the old items that I wore where you can shop them and etc, etc, etc. Filippo, what do you think about the title of editorial? What does it say? Well, on the cover it says Tamara, self-made woman. Yeah. But inside it says, I never want to lose my groundedness. Do you think I'm grounded? No, baby, you never do. <laughs> but that's your, uh, that's your strength. You don't think I'm grounded? No, maybe if you were grounded, you wouldn't uh, be the star you are today. You daughter. don't think I'm humble? Do you think I'm humble? No, you, humble is different. You are very humble. Yeah. Because you are giving, because you are honest, you are nice, but maybe grounded? No, you are actually the opposite. You flying so high that, uh, but it's a good thing. But I think that groundedness means something like... You're grounded when you are home, when you're doing your uh, beauty things, you know, then you're grounded. But when you leave the house, maybe you fly high as a... Uh, Kite. Yeah. But don't you think that groundedness means like being kind to people, like when they approach you on the street, being Grounded realistic in the realistic situations, being able to enjoy equally, like two star and a five star? That's groundedness. I don't know. I don't think so. We have a different perception I of groundedness. That, I think groundedness maybe is when you don't uh, celebrate yourself. You know, groundedness is when... Uh, and I definitely celebrate myself. No, but with the other people, baby, you never do that. You don't think I celebrate myself? You don't go around saying... I'm this, I'm that. Of course not. Who does that? Baby, so many people. Why I think I'm grounded is because of this. Because I don't actually go around telling or thinking ever that I'm better than anybody else. Never. You will never hear me say that. That's why I think I am grounded. Oh, this one's so good. But you don't think. Well, no, I think you're very humble. And I think you're very unique. But the grounded... Uh, but grounded, no. no. Okay. Well, I think... Let's Google it. Let's Google it. What grounded. Ab what about the statement here on the cover? What's that? Yeah, but that's true. What? That's reality. That I'm a self-made woman. You are. You're coming from nothing. But you know that a lot of people would think, well, not really, but a lot of people think that the reason why this is the actual um, reality is quite an interesting topic. I could make a whole video out of it. Do you know that there's people who think that the reason why I achieved something in the fashion industry is because of connections, because of you, because of my parents financed it. I think in this phenomenon that actually I absolutely think it's possible. What I want to say with this is that it's possible in any industry to be self-made. You're self-made. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I think that it's absolutely possible to achieve anything by yourself. I know so many people who are CEOs of big companies who don't come from wealthy families, who don't have anything. It's so funny because, you know, my parents, they couldn't help me in anything when it comes to this industry. If I wanted to work in pharmaceutical industry, they would have probably been able to help me in anything that I wanted to do. But working in fashion, I had no knowledge. I had no background. I had no connections. I had no no, not even skill. I had to like learn and I had to build and I had to work 10 times more than probably people that had all of that in order to achieve some things. So like in that way, I think it's very, very possible to make it without having any, I don't even know how you call it, like connections and knowing people and without actually coming from the background of fashion. I think it's definitely 1000% possible, but you have to put yourself right in the middle of the chaos. So I went to fashion weeks 
without any invitations, without anybody sponsoring it. I was spending my whole salary to go there just to be in the center of it. You can't be in like, I don't know, in like Bogota, writing a fashion blog, expecting that you will... Bogota, which is the capital of? Colombia. Maybe <laughs> in Serbia, we are like very strong in geography. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you can't sit like somewhere and think that fashion will come to you. You have to go to fashion in order no, no, to make it. In your case, you were coming from a completely different field. You know, you were a pharmacist with no connection in fashion. We also not many clue because of what you knew. It was like you didn't have any clue about fashion. You just like to dress up. Yeah, but you didn't know how. Yeah, definitely. You know, if I insert I mean, some pictures of my outfits. If you outfits. see some picture of ten years ago, she had no. But but no, but, but at the but, time, people liked but that. Yeah, and baby, to be starting from your first question, you know, to be grounded means to be with the con i piedi per terra. You know, with your feet on the ground, which means the translation is to be a simple person. You want to be grounded, you have to be simple in the way you live your life as well. And we are not simple people. We are the opposite because we are ambitious and because we like what we do, which is the main thing. We love our job. So back to your beginning, you have no clue about fashion. You have no connection. You loved it. And that's the secret, I think, in life. If you love something, you will find a way and you find your way. Your sister helped you with your first pictures. My sister actually bought the first camera a, because yeah, I couldn't afford first, it. Uh, Many of you guys know She was know the that. most important thing of your career because she started to help you with a little camera. And then you understood watching around what went to wear pink, went to wear black, in which occasion. And then, uh, you know, you start with your first uh, uh, little job in London. And then... Um, and then the brand start looking at you, very little brand, a little bit bigger brand, and then big brand, and then you went to Paris for the first fashion week, and then, and then at the end of it, so when you were already successful, you met me, which maybe helped to meet people that work in fashion, that's it. Yeah, actually what I think helped with you the most is in two things. One thing, the most is the confidence that I now have working in fashion because before meeting you, I always felt like this little girl that works in fashion. But after I met you and getting so much acknowledgement from you that what I do so is good. getting so much love from someone that works in fashion. Yeah. It means that you... Are really good at it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, but that really helped in my confidence confidence but the second thing that really helped i think with you is that i met different people in fashion before that's meeting what I mean. you that's what i mean i was meeting a lot of like influencers a lot of like creatives no, before me baby you were meeting people in fashion only when you were working with me you hang out yeah with it's people true. In fashion. That's, that's, very true. that's very true that's very true and hanging out with people in fashion helps your confidence yeah you know and because credibility about, of it. it's like you know i was talking to a, to a friend yesterday is when you go to a soccer game mm -hmm. right yeah and you watch the game from the seats mm -hmm. you know from the the, yeah. the normal seats and you think that the soccer players are God, when you hang out with the soccer players, then you see soccer as a normal game. You put the perfect example. So yesterday, I had this friend of mine that never came where I go to watch the games. So I bring this friend of mine and he was like, wow, you know, look at the soccer players. At the end of the day, they're, you know, young kids that are having fun. So I was telling him, you know, usually when you hang out with the people that you think they are... Uh, you know, uh, like CEO of a big brand, you, you know, think of them as like you, you understand, super authority. You understand that whoever this guy is, an NBA basketball player, a CEO of a company, a super top model, at the end of the day, they're just people. They're yeah. human beings. They're just like me and you. They just had a, a different talent or a bigger luck or whatever. But at the end of the day, they made by bones, muscles, Hearts and brains, just like us. Love that, actually. You got me thinking so much now. Anyway, I just wanted to show my cover and to talk a little bit, but this turned into... Yeah, also because we have an appointment. Yeah. So we have to go. We have to go. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Guys, how much better is this edition? New me, right? Anyway, I realized I never really ended this vlog. I didn't really say much, I guess. That was basically the Portofino and a little bit of home chit-chat. I have to pack now. I have no idea what I'm going to bring. We need to leave in like four hours and... 
I haven't even started packing, which I normally don't like to do. I love to pack the day before so that I can finish everything else on the actual day of travel. Like, you know, make sure not to forget anything. That's very important. However, not today, okay? Not today. Either way. I hope you enjoyed this vlog a little bit. If you're not subscribed but you love watching my videos, please do subscribe. It does mean a lot to me. It makes a whole difference. Reading your comments, engaging with you guys, having this community is something that makes me very, very happy and I just love what we have on here on this platform. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one, which is probably going to be from Tokyo.